Hello FX fans and welcome back to another episode of Flight Deck. My name's Nathan and I'll be your captain on this journey. In today's episode we're at the Battle of Britain Memorial. We also take a look at the Jeep Quicksand Concept Quick Build Kit. And we take a look at your images. I'm Nathan, we're FX and this is Flight Deck. A mix of the iconic Jeep Wrangler with the concept of a hot rod gives you this amazing Jeep quicksand concept created for enthusiasts who love the sand life. The Jeep quicksand concept features a longer wheelbase than the standard two-door Wrangler. The body has been trimmed in the front and the rear, while the hard top and the windshield have been chopped, giving the quicksand a longer, faster and lower appearance. With an open top and no windows, you are exposed to the elements of the outdoors and can take in the sound and the wind from your journeys. Quick Build allows you to create a wide variety of iconic scale models. No paint or glue is required. The push together brick system results in a realistic scale model that is compatible with other plastic brick brands. True to is an introduction to modelling for any age of 6 and up, the pre clo pieces can be pushed together to build an impressive model, which can then be decorated with the included self-adhesive stickers. When built, they are tough enough to be used as toys or smart enough to be used as display models. The 15th of this month was Battle of Britain Day. The Battle of Britain was the first major military campaign fought entirely by air forces. The British officially recognised the battle's duration as being from the 10th of July until the 31st of October 1940. This month we have the privilege of visiting the Battle of Britain Memorial located in Cable de Fern, Kent. The central statue was carved by Harry Gray of the Carving Workshop in Cambridge. The figure wears an earthen jacket for a very important reason. By hiding the airman's uniform, it disguises both his nationality and his rank, meaning he represents every country and every rank. The Christopher Foxy Norris Memorial Wall is named in tribute to the late Air Chief Marshal Sir Christopher Foxy Norris, a Hurricane fighter pilot in 1940. He was the first president of the Battle of Britain Memorial Trust, and together with Lady Foxy Norris, provided the funds that allowed the wall to go ahead. The names are listed in alphabetical order without rank or decoration highlighting the fact that every one of the few contributed to the RAS victory. Dedicated to the heroic and selfless deeds of the men who won the Battle of the Britain. My name is uh, Jules Gomez uh, and I'm the site manager for the Battle of Britain Memorial. Well, the memorial was originally unveiled in uh, 1993 by Her Majesty the Queen Mother, which is the, the airman on the propeller. And as the years went by, then obviously the trust, an independent trust, self-funding, uh, introduced more things in, on the site itself, like our replica aircraft, our Christopher Foxy Norris Memorial Wall, our Beaver Brook Wall, which has Churchill's famous saying, and culminating with the building that we're on at the moment, the wing, which was unveiled in 2015 by Her Majesty the Queen, ably assisted by the Duke of Edinburgh. Well, the Battle of Britain obviously took on stage in the summer of 1940. Dates which were set down by Lord Dowding was the 10th of July through to the 31st of October 1940. Um, just short of 3,000 aircrew took to the skies and sadly out of, of that number, 534 lost their lives. Well, some of those aircrew that took to the skies in 1940 were very young. Some of the ages as young as 18, likes of uh, Geoffrey Boy Wellham, which is uh, aptly named by his uh, comrades. And you can imagine getting into a, an aircraft that maybe you may have only been taught for about 10 weeks or even conversion from one type to another for six to ten weeks, ten hours, sorry. Um, they would have been frightened, obviously, because they, they wouldn't know what to expect. It may have been the first time that they would have taken the enemy on. Um, but full of adrenaline as well. I've, I know I've met a few of them uh, and they, they sometimes will tell you, or so would have told you, that they, they were just doing a job. Well, I think for me and I think for a lot of people and for generations that have passed, that if the Royal Air Force wasn't successful in the Battle of Britain, 
uh, you could you could say that actually what followed on in the Second World War probably wouldn't have happened. So, that, for example, D-Day landings wouldn't have happened because we wouldn't have had a platform to, to launch it from. So I think it's a really significant battle in the Second World War. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. With some new kits hitting your modelling bench this month. Firstly, we have the reintroduction of the Hawker Siddeley Harrier GR1 in Vintage Classic, which is available now. The Vintage Classic Beagle Bassett 206 is also available now. The Starter Set Jaguar E-Type should be at your workbench now, and is available to order right now if you haven't got it already. Finally, let's take a look at some of your builds from the last month. Masterful model making by Alejandro Matas, recreating the Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1 in 170 second scale. Recreating the 40H Stuka in stunning detail, Simon has done a superb job with this kit. Just look at that detail. Beautiful work on the new tool 35th scale Austin K2i ambulance by Gary Stuff. That's all we have time for in this month's episode. Let us know down in the comments below where you'd like us to go next. And as always, please like and subscribe. Nathan, over and out. Thank you.